Good afternoon, everybody. I want to share with you the prize winner for this week. But before I do, I want to share with you the results of the survey that you guys filled out about how you make connections with students in non-academic settings. And so I combined some of the entries um, or the responses that you guys created in order to put like ideas together. And I just want to sh quickly share them out with you. So here are some of the big ones. Attending extracurricular activities, absolutely. Um, eating lunch with kids, hallway connections, transition times, pen pal notebooks, writing back and forth uh, to create a communication tool with kids, book club in your room on the certain days, asking students about interests and activities, finding things we have in common, having a quiet place for them to work or calm down in the room, using tools that they know they can come in and use for you, like kinetic sand, read a book, have a snack. Um, food is a great way to connect with people uh, in our culture, and, in, and that's the same way for school too. Coaching, morning meeting times, going outside during recess, playing basketball. Now, I really like this um, person's response because it brings up the idea of just interacting with kids, playing with them. And it doesn't have to be basketball, but if there is an indoor recess, for example, kind of hunkering down and playing a game of Uno or just doing something that is interactive instead of always just being um, outside of the group, watching them, trying to be involved and with the kids. Uh, let's see. Um, listen, eavesdropping. Talk about their favorite memes and videos. Um, watch what books they're reading. You know, being very observant. That's that's kind of a great conclusion. Just be observant and talk. Thank you guys all for all your wonderful ideas about ways to connect with students in non-academic settings. Being observant, asking questions, involving yourself in the kids' lives. Those things are the ways that we make connections with kids and they are meaningful. So our winner for the prize this week, to conclude our video quickly, is Marissa Romanelli. Okay, have a wonderful weekend.